Hello, my name is D'Artagnan. And uh, I'm going to start off with a quote. Everything negative, pressure challenges, is all an opportunity for me to grow. Kobe Bryant. I know not everyone in this classroom is a fan of basketball, but if I were to ask you all to name three players, I guarantee you Kobe Bryant would be one of them. The reason behind this is because he's made his He's made it known that it was to be one of the greatest players on this planet. In fact, US, USA Today ranks Kobe fifth all time on the player list. Now, growing up, I've been watching, playing, and coaching basketball, so I feel like I have sufficient knowledge about the subject. In my personal opinion, I would rank Kobe Bryant as the greatest player to ever play the game. The reason for this is because I wasn't able to witness other players such as Michael Jordan, Will Chamberlain, or Magic Johnson play because I wasn't alive during the era of basketball. Uh, so I feel that it would be incredible for me to give that title to someone else when I wasn't able to witness them live. That being said, it is very possible that someone else could have that title as the greatest player ever. So this speech isn't meant to convince you why Kobe is the greatest player ever, but why Kobe is the greatest player of our generation. Kobe's the greatest player of our generation because he has done things that no other basketball player has and holds records that seem unbeatable. Some of these are 18, 18 consecutive All-Star appearances, 81 points in a game, and the Lakers' all-time leading scorer. Now, you might be asking why this is important. Well, it's important to give credit when credit is due. I'm sure you all had a time in your life where you felt you weren't recognized for all the time and effort you put into something. In fact, according to my survey, 88% of you implied that you felt you haven't received all the credit that was due in a specific instance before. So if you work day in and day out on a craft that you pride yourself on being the best and wasn't recognized for it, I don't know about you guys, you all, but I would be pretty upset. So to start off with Kobe's story, he jumped in the NBA straight from high school, something that only 44 other players have done. So immediately, he was recognized for his skill at a young age. According to Sports Illustrated, he was then elected to 18 consecutive All-Star Games just after his second year in the NBA. This being elected to an All-Star Game is a huge honor and a trait that only an elite player each year can get selected to. So you have to be one of the best players in the league to be elected to an All-Star Game, and the fact that Kobe was able to do it 18 years consecutively is unheard of. He also holds the record for the most All-Star Game MVPs which means not only was he recognized as one of the best players in the league, but the best player in that game for that season. Now, I want you guys to imagine yourself breaking a record that no one has done in over 25 years. How do you think that would make you feel, or how do you think others would react to it? Well, according to Sports Vice, on January 22, 2006, Kobe did that by scoring 81 points in a game. This is second all-time behind, behind Wilt Chamberlain's 100 points in a game, but in fairness, that was in 1950, in the 1950s, and the rules of basketball were a lot different, making it a lot easier for players to score. So the next person behind Kobe is David Thompson with 72 points in a game, game, which is all the way back in 1967. That means Kobe scored nine full more points than David Thompson, which is a very substantial amount. I remember after this game, I went to school, and my friends and I were talking about this the whole day. For this is the most impressive sports record I've ever seen broken, and to this day stands one of the most impressive things I've ever seen on television. The reason he accomplished these things is because he had the utmost determination, uh, utmost, determ uh, utmost determination to do so. He's quoted the same mentality as everything, and even has a form of mentality named after him called the Mamba mentality, in which you view the impossible, never give up, and no one can really stop you on the court. Because of this. He's the Lakers' all-time leading scorer and ranks third of all-time NBA points right above Michael Jordan. So when you see a survey about who's the best player of our generation, I implore you to choose Kobe Bryant. In fact, even current NBA players would rank Kobe as the best player of their generation as well. Former MVP and starting point guard Derrick Rose said that Kobe Bryant was the Michael Jordan of our generation. So to have an MVP caliber player to credit Kobe as the Michael Jordan or as the best player of his generation just shows what an honor it was to play with him. In fact, uh, uh, 2016 NBA champion Kyrie Irving credited his game-winning shot in the 2016 finals, saying, attributing to the Mamba mentality he had. So not only did he win the game for them, but he attributed the mentality and all of that to Kobe Bryant, showing 
that he has had such a huge influence on today's game. So next time you have a conversation with your friends or you see you know, a survey on ESPN of who the best player is in this generation, I hope I've convinced you enough to choose Kobe Bryant. Thank you.